Breaking news right now on Late News Tonight. Sacramento Fire is dealing with a light rail derailment. We are talking about 22 people who are injured right now. This is a very serious situation. Mm -hmm. They are taking care of those patients, and we are going to uh, hopefully bring you a live picture in just a little bit. That's right. I just got off the phone with one of our employees who was actually on that train tonight. Take a listen to what he had to say. So talk to me, Joseph. Tell me what happened. Okay, so what I can gather from everyone that's here, oh, okay, so what I gather is on the rail crashed into another white rail. So talk to me. You were on the train when it crashed? Yeah, I'm still on here. My head smashed into like this flat, shatterless plane thing. Sorry for not being very cor uh, coherent. I just smashed my head a second ago. Oh, my goodness. So you were literally, were you going at a high rate of speed? Yes. Yes. Uh, what are they telling you all right now? Where are you? Oh, give me a second. So on, they're collecting our information. Okay. We're about to get off. The light rail itself is completely tilted off the track. Yes. It's completely off the track? It's tilted off. It's tilted off the track. Yes. Uh, have, has emergency personnel arrived? A lot of cop cars and fire engines. There you see those cop cars and firefighters there on scene. We want to go out to our live reporter on scene now. Daniela Pardo is there. Daniela, bring us up to speed. What are you seeing? Well, Chris, I can actually show you the train now from where I'm standing because they just cleared the area. They were treating patients earlier, but let me show you if you can see. I know it's dark, but over there you see one of the trains that was in that collision and this fence right here. Uh, Barbara, if you can follow me over here, you can see that this is where they cut through and they were able to get the passengers out and uh, make sure that they were treated. There were 22 people injured and there were 15 ambulances when we got here, a huge presence of firefighters and paramedics just making sure that everyone was okay. There were a total of four, 40 firefighters and right now everyone who needed to go to the hospital was already transported. Um, there's just a few firefighters here left. They're just kind of combing the area making sure that everything is okay. Uh, but you can see the train, like you said, from this point we um, are going to be getting another update from the fire chief in just a little bit, so we'll bring that to you as soon as we get it. Oh, you are just getting there on scene. Uh, we are hearing that 22 people have been injured. Uh, are we expecting uh, a formal uh, news conference uh, anytime soon? Yes, in just a few minutes, as soon as I'm done with this live shot, we're going to head over to a press conference where we're going to get another update. But as far as those patients, when we got here, I could see uh, some of them being uh, t taken inside the ambulance and you could see a lot of pain in their face. We don't know how serious these injuries were, but we certainly saw a lot of people or a couple people, at least um, we did when we got here, uh, getting transported. So we will have another update, Chris, uh, soon. Absolutely, Danielle. We'll let, we'll let you get to that news conference so we can get the latest information. But we do know, uh, according to Captain Keith Wade with Sacramento Fire, that mm -hmm. there were 22 people injured again. But these injuries, he was saying, were walking, mostly walking injuries. That mm -hmm. means, again, they're bumped, a little bruised, mm -hmm. and potentially worse, uh, two moderate injuries. So a lot of ambulance are there at the scene right now. And, of course, we're going to continue to follow this throughout the show for you online as well.